Everything I do challenges the status quo of being a voiceover and the arbitrary gatekeeper rules of who can be successful and why. I do this by ignoring what the powers that be say is acceptable in marketing and pricing and where I choose to get my freaking work and if I can even create my own demo or not. I show voiceover artists how to start, build, and grow a successful voiceover career. Want to learn?
So the big question is this, how do voiceover artists like us who are looking to take our careers to the next level, but don't buy into the claims of needing expensive equipment and demos, start bringing in new clients? How do you follow a clear path to changing your voiceover side hustle into your full-time job and stick it to those that said you couldn't? Huh? Those are the questions, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Earl Hall, and welcome to In the Booth with Earl Hall, where we know how to grind and don't quit. And good morning, all of you folks tuned in right now to In the Booth with Earl Hall. If you're watching me on Instagram, YouTube, my two Facebook pages, or Periscope on Twitter, thank you so much for tuning in on this morning. I'm here for you Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, right here on whatever channel you are watching me on. Super excited. I'm finally getting my brand new internet connection one week from today. Um, And wouldn't you know it, you know, I'm upgrading my upload speed here and all that kind of stuff, getting a business class internet connection so I can stop all the buffering and stuff that's going on uh, with my internet speed. So I'm super excited about that. Of course, wouldn't you know it, they would be coming between the hours of 8 to 12 noon, and my show is at 10, Monday through Friday. So next Thursday, who knows what's going to happen when they come. And you know they always come at the worst times, you know, with that. What's up, Vox Podcast? How you doing this morning? You guys know I'm here Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, for the voiceover artist that is looking to start, build, and grow a successful voiceover business. I've gotten so tired over the years at people claiming to have this answer and that answer and no one giving any answers for anything. That's one why I created this YouTube. What's up, Lee Voices over on Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to see the full effect, go over to my YouTube channel. Link is in the profile over on uh, Instagram. Uh, There's links pretty much everywhere. And I'm going to say, hey, what's up, Katia? How you doing this morning? Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm excited and I want to hurry for the new internet. That is really what you know I, I i decided to continue going even though i'm having the issues with buffering because i know you guys are waiting for this and it's like you know okay deal with whatever but i know that content is the thing that people are genuinely looking for to help them with whatever it is that they, that they need help with so i didn't want to use an excuse is basically what it is and this is kind of my approach to everything don't give an excuse for things not being perfect in order for you to move. Don't Just don't give yourself any excuse to not move forward. I don't care what the situation is, move forward. You'll perfect it as you go. And that's really how it is. You know, when I started off on YouTube, really pretty much back in April of this year, I remember, it's so funny, on April 30th, I had 165 subscribers. Today, I'm right at 670. In a few short months, hey, everybody over on Instagram, wherever you are tuned in, whether Instagram, who's seeing me in the raw, uh, (laughs) as opposed to green screen, um, I think Instagram can kind of see there's a green screen behind me right here. But if you, you know, wherever you're tuned in from, go ahead and give me a shout. I want to know who's here so I can acknowledge you. And, you know, I appreciate you guys thousand times more than anything that you could ever appreciate from me i'm telling you that right now i sincerely appreciate you guys tuning in every day today is one of those days where if you're looking for the quick answer i think by now most people whether you're frustrated or not kind of realize that there's no quick answer to success even someone like me that's been in this for over a decade now of building his voiceover business, this honestly didn't really start kicking off until two years ago. When I made up my mind that, look, come hell or high water, I'm gonna find out this information. I'm gonna study, I'm gonna learn, I'm gonna watch everything I can watch on YouTube. I'm gonna read every blog I can get my hands across, but not about voiceover, about marketing. I became a student of marketing, and this is why, you know, today what I want to talk about is, look, okay, I want to give you my my junk. Let, let's just put it that way. The secret, if you want to call it a secret, to really building a successful voiceover career, you guys know my mindset. 
<clears throat> on this whole thing, it is all about making sure that your number one priority and understanding that your number one job in this whole thing is to get clients. That is your number one job. If you don't get anything else, that is the thing that you have to get. Marketing is more important than what microphone you use. Marketing is more important than what DAW you use. It is more important. Um, I've spent a ton of money on books over the years. And what I wanna share with you are not only my books, but some philosophies from each of these books that has shifted my mindset. You know, it literally over the past three to five years has solidified some things within me that I understand need to be done. And this comes, this is across the board. I don't care whether you're a, a voiceover artist or, or any type of freelancer. It is important. Hey, Jeremy, um, newcomer here. Hey, I, he says, I definitely appreciate hearing things from your point of view. Thank you so much, Jeremy. I appreciate you being here. By the way, some of the things going on, you folks may be putting comments up on Facebook. I'm not seeing those comments right now. I'll, I'll see them later. But if you want to know that I see your comment, you got to watch me on probably either Instagram or um, YouTube is, is, is going to be the best thing. If you're watching right now, you're obviously seeing the comments scroll up on the screen. What's up, Ryan? Glad to see you here. Those are comments that come in from YouTube and that come in from Periscope or Twitter. So I see those comments instantly. Facebook doesn't give me that, that thing there. So if you're on Facebook, you want to get in on, have your comments show up on screen, look at me over on YouTube or even in the raw. You guys that are watching me over here in the raw, on Instagram, I will see your comments there because they scroll up. So now, do you guys remember there was a movie uh, a couple of years ago called Limitless? The movie was called Limitless. And there's a series out now from based on that movie Limitless that I've been digesting like every night just because I love the concept. If, you, if you've seen Limitless, let me know. Yes or no. <clears throat> the premise of the movie is this guy's kind of a, a screw up or whatever, and he comes across uh, this guy that has this pill, um, NZT something, I forget what it is, some you know made up drug. And he takes this pill and his brain is supercharged at this point. He can access every memory he's ever had. He can make connections that most people would never make from the things that he's seen. He's got a photographic memory under this pill and he's super powered basically super powered brain and you know 100,000 times smarter than anyone else just because of the connections that his brain is able to make based on his own knowledge and of course the continued knowledge that he acquires the reason that I bring this up is because obviously there's no drug called NZT uh, that we can take to do this for us but if there was can you imagine the things that you could do in order to make certain things happen or understand why certain things happen, the steps you need to take in order to do things that'll be powerful and impactful in your whole life? Um, site, uh, what is it? Sight Night. Good morning, Earl. Keep grinding. Saw the movie and I've checked out the um, series as well. I'm like not done the series. I'm like on uh, eight uh, episode eight, I think, of the series or whatever. Um, but anyway, I won't blow it. I was getting ready to, you know, spoil the whole thing for everybody. But if you want to see the series, it's just called Limitless. And the movie uh, that it's based on is called Limitless. And actually, the guy that plays the main character in the movie plays in this as well. Why am I bringing up this freaking mythological uh, thing and movie called Limitless? Here's the reason why. I found a way to be more limitless <laughs> than I am. And this may sound kind of off the cuff, off the chain, and it, it, it took me a long time to really get into this. But one of the things of the several that I'm gonna go through today, but I think this is probably the most important um, or the most exciting, maybe I should say with that. But the only way that we're going to tap into everything that we are uh, able to give the only way that we are going to tap into everything that we are able to do and kind of get a clear picture of our purpose, um, our strategies, our everything, what I found 
happened for me through meditation. And it became a practice of mine a little over two years ago. And every morning I have the same routine. You know, with that, what I'm gonna share with you, uh, let me just go here because I have a bunch of things. Let me just, I gotta clear my screen up so that I'm able to uh, share this with you. Where are we? And basically there's a link in the description uh, that I have. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube and even on Facebook, there's a link in the description to my uh, store. I added to my store last night in order to basically start bringing you some information is what it is. So the link that is in the description on YouTube and Facebook and probably uh, Paris, I don't know if it's on Periscope. I don't no, I don't think it's on Twitter. It's on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, whatever is in the description of this below the video that you're watching. And if you're watching on Facebook, the description that's above the video, there's going to be a link to this particular page. I was introduced to this person called um, Visham, basically. And let me uh, change what I'm looking at here really quick. Or actually, I don't think I have to do that. Let me just go back here and I can just take a look. The Code of the Extraordinary Mind by Visham Lakani. He runs a, an outfit called Mind Valley. And that's where I first kind of started diving deep into meditation. And it's a practice that I have of about 20 minutes every morning of meditating, focusing in on my day, what it is that I want to accomplish. It's very simple, very easy, actually. But in this book, Code of the Extraordinary Mind, and even you can go to um, mindvalley.com which goes into a lot more than meditation it goes into mindset now I'm going to tell you this right now you can ignore what it is that I'm saying and I struggled even thinking about bringing this to you but there is nothing that has affected me more or been more powerful in my process of developing my business than the practice of meditation. What meditation does for me, and I believe it can do for anyone, is it allows you to super focus. You can become, basically, that's why I brought up the movie Limitless. You start tapping into some things and seeing things that are all around. And that you'll start making these connections in your mind that you just, they're in your subconscious, but you don't get to them. Doing a 20-minute meditation and going through and looking at the Code of the Extraordinary Mind, um, that book and also the website Mind Valley has just supercharged what it is that I'm doing. Everything else that I do without that, it's almost like I don't think it has the, it would never have the power that it has. Real talk on that. Now, what I, what I also have developed over the past three to five years is that, you know, 15 to 20 minutes of meditation, I've personalized it to me. There's this thing called six phase meditation, and it just takes you through different steps. It's about 15 or 20 minutes every morning. But what I did is I personalized it to me so that I could focus in on specifically what it is that I wanted to do. It's a guided meditation. I did it myself. I made it in my own voice put background music, all that other kind of stuff, binaural beats. If you don't understand anything about binaural beats, it's basically a way to change your brainwave frequency to focus in more. And, you know, actually, um, Mike Russell over at, I forget the name of his, but I'm sure you guys are familiar with Mike Russell. He did a whole training on how to create binaural beats, um, specifically to, to um, within Adobe Audition, if you wanted to make your own. And he talked about taking your brain waves into different phases so that you can focus more and these frequencies and beats help you do that. So anyway, for the past couple of years, I've once again created my own personalized meditation. And actually it's something I can share with you guys. If you wanna hear my, my meditation that I do every morning, shoot me an email over at voquestion at gmail.com. Say, hey Earl, I'd like to hear your your meditation thing. I'll send it to you. I'll let you see it. Now, obviously, listen to it, but it may not be specifically for what it is that you want to accomplish and do. Or you can even look up six-phase meditation on YouTube and find that. 
Now, what you're looking at here are all of the books that have helped over the years. Some of them are obviously more recent. Some of them are a little bit old, like the Think and Grow Rich thing. So there's a link to this page um, in YouTube and in uh, Facebook. Um, obviously, you know, it's my store. If you buy, I'll get a couple of cents uh, for you purchasing a book here. But obviously, you don't have to do that. You can go to Amazon, look up any of these books or whatever, and go for broke. I just happened to develop the store because it's one of the things that I realized people continue to ask me so many questions during the course of a day. You know, how do I do this? How did I do? How do I do that? And what I realize is that there's so much more than just the tactics and the strategies that I give. Now, when you look at this book, Blue Ocean Strategy, it's the, the first one over here, The Blue Ocean Strategy by Chan Kim. This book was so influential to me because of the fact that it explained why so many people fail. And this is what I came to understand, why so many people are losing at this. The Blue Ocean Strategy and the premise behind this whole book is that everyone is swimming where all the sharks are. It's in a red ocean. You are trying to market. You are trying to do things that everyone else is doing. This is a problem. When you're doing everything that everyone else is doing, there's a problem with that because there's blood in the water and everybody is in there. Every single marketing, every single business person that is out here needs to read Blue Ocean Strategy. You've got to find those places where no one else is, where no one else is feeding, and find those niches or niches that you can command and own, be the first in and do certain things. And you might be sitting here thinking right now, okay, well, yeah, how am I going to do that, Earl? There is always a blue ocean. There's always a niche that is going to be so unpopulated, so you've got to start really thinking outside of the box. I don't know how to teach you how to think outside of the box when it comes to acquiring clients. The only thing that I can teach you are the steps that I take to acquire those clients. There's some things that I do on a test basis that I've never shared. I've failed more times than I've succeeded because I'm not afraid to step out trying to, trying to discover blue oceans and just go for it. A friend of mine, uh, Dana Friesen, uh, about seven years ago told me about this book and I just devoured it. And it's one of the books that's on my Kindle, you know, so I, it follow all these, all of these books follow me around. All of these books on my Kindle are heavily highlighted and they are what I look to pretty much on a daily basis to try and figure these things out. Once again, if you want to go to the link that's in the description, um, from wherever you're watching, well, if you're watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Facebook, the link to this page on my website is there. Um, if you go to, and let me just try and transition over here. Uh, let's just open up another web page, which will be my website. And let me just make sure all of that's coming up, and it is. All right, this is the website for StepsToVoiceOverSuccess.com. Now, if you want to know how to get there, basically it's under this link called Products. And under Products that I have on the website, obviously I've got gear that is here. There's gear that I've used, gears that, gear that I recommend from microphones to accessories, and then you have your must-read books. And this is basically how you get there to the must-read books. Now... <clears throat> but once again, the link directly to this page is at the website, or excuse me, is in the link in the description uh, for this particular video. All right, let me take some of this stuff off here. Window share, let me transition back over. Um, yeah, Katia says, yes, agreed. Meditation does it for me too. Um, half breathing techniques too. Okay, okay. Uh, a lot of people joining over on uh, Twitter. Um, inspiring stuff right now. Thank you so much, uh, Katia, for that. <clears throat> the other books that are here that have been vitally important, and I'm pretty much going to go in order of what you've just seen in regards to the books that I'm going to suggest that you read. 
Um, Carlos Flood, hey, what's up, man, over on Instagram. Anthony, you're over on Instagram. Yeah, you've never seen this side of stuff, right? Yeah, it's a little bit different. Not looking at, you're, you guys on Instagram are seeing it in the raw. You're seeing it in the, this is in the raw. You know, the fully produced green screen and all that stuff is over on YouTube. So you guys, and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's just at Earl Hall Studio um, on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Earl Hall VO. And of course, if you're watching me on Facebook, you know, if you're watching me on YouTube, you know, I would make a request that everyone subscribe to my channel on YouTube and make sure that when you do subscribe, tick the little bell. Um, bell notifications so that when I go live or when I upload a video, you guys will know instantly because you'll get notified. Hey, Earl Hall Studios going on live. All right. So we've talked about Code of the Extraordinary Mind. We've talked about Blue Ocean, which is really those two books are really high level. But all of this study that I've done of these books and all of these books here are books that I've read. Um, and that I go back to from time to time when I get ideas and different thoughts and things of that nature. The next book that I want to go through is Expert Secrets. Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson is really a guy that understands internet marketing. And you guys have heard me say over and over again, when I'm studying marketing, I'm not studying other voiceover coaches or voiceover artists or things any or anything like that. I'm studying the people that are deep in the trenches and understanding marketing, in particular internet marketing. Just like I say with the, uh, the home studio and how it is the future, well, the future as far as internet marketing is here. And a lot of it comes down to content, how it is that you're reaching out. You guys have heard me talk about email marketing ad nauseum in regards to how important it is. I believe email marketing is so much more important and so much more relevant than anything else. Expert Secrets talks about how you build a funnel basically to get people in and basically discover you and you can then market to them over and over again. But it's all about building that funnel of what's going to work. The book, How to Write Copy That Sells, let me just tell you, this is my newest book that is blowing my mind right now. This is more than, um, well, some of you may not even know a lot about marketing. Most, most voiceover artists don't. There's never, I've never met a voiceover artist and we talked and I've seen that they've gone in on all of this stuff. When I say go in, I'm talking about you're going in and you know, on this thing and you're really studying it and trying to learn it so you can bring some things to fruition. This book, How to Write Copy That Sells, covers what needs to be on your website, what you know, how you need to formulate your words that matter to the niche that you're looking to go after is so vitally important. I'm talking down to your website copy. I'm talking down to your email copy. I'm talking the subject lines of your emails, what it needs to deal with. And the reason why these books that I've read are so powerful for me, and the same thing goes for how to write seductive web copy, that little red or orangish, whatever book that's up at the top right hand corner oh you guys aren't seeing my screen you're seeing me sorry uh but anyway <laughs> the two books how to write seductive copy just click the link in the description you'll go right to the page and you'll see all of that and you can get these books you know you can get the hard copy i rarely buy a hard copy book i usually just always download it to my kindle and or a lot of times i get the kindle version but i also get the audiobook so that i can listen to it as i'm on the go or whatever and all of these things stay in my head every day um Let's see, Anthony saying something over here on Instagram. I just got contacted by another person from my Instagram marketing. The crazy thing is that is two people out of nine. Anthony's talk that is outstanding, dude. Anthony's talking about the strategy that I teach in voiceover fast track about how to use Instagram for marketing. Also, there's a free, I mean, at something's bothering my nose. There's at steps to voiceover success.com. Go there if you have not joined the site. It is free to join. And I've got the Instagram training right there for free. I think it's probably about a 30, 40 minute training that I do on Instagram marketing or something like that. But Anthony over on Instagram is talking about that strategy. That strategy comes from, you look at the book, Jab, Jab, Right Hook. And let me go back and share my screen. <clears throat> and once again, you can see all this stuff on the website link and all of that. Hey, Shelly. 
Hey, y'all, she says <laughs> over on YouTube. Let me go back and share my screen with you again. And a window capture and transition. Okay. This book, Right Hither, Jab, Jab, Right Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. He's the guy that I got this whole Instagram strategy from, which was just stupidly, ridiculously simple, but effective if you're willing to put in the work. Jab, jab, right. First of all, Gary Vaynerchuk, if you do not follow him on somewhere, but he's everywhere, but follow him in particular on YouTube and also on Instagram, you're going to get a wealth of knowledge. It's part of my daily morning routine, my meditation. I'm on my second cup of coffee now. On my first cup of coffee, I'm normally watching a video from Gary Vaynerchuk. Every, every morning, that's like my morning routine. Grab my first cup of coffee, go ahead and, you know, fire up YouTube and go ahead and watch a video from Gary V. This guy is stupidly, ridiculously, insanely just intuitive and smart in regards to the whole internet marketing thing. And, but it's beyond that. He's going to help you cut out all the BS with the stuff that you say you want to do and the stuff that you do. Who on Instagram and or, or uh, YouTube, because those are the only ones I can see, or even on Periscope, who knows who Gary Vaynerchuk is? I say I, you know, in, or yes, I do in the comment. I want to know. If I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, please hear me when I say this. Follow Gary Vaynerchuk. I, I'm just going to tell you that. Over the past 18 months that I followed him, Along with all of these other things that I do, it's just powerful. He's no nonsense. He does curse a lot, so you got to get past that if you don't know. But he does curse a lot. Get over it. Uh, the information that he's going to give you is invaluable. So this book right here, if I can point to it, yeah, right there. Jab, jab, right hook. It's all about the ask. It's all about what you need to do, literally, to get clients. This is Jab, Jab, Right Hook. Marketing 101, Marketing 301, you know, master level class. You want to understand the mentality of how to get clients? It's Jab, Jab, Right Hook. Get the book. I I'm, I'm just telling you that right now. Okay, and then, of course, we've got Think and Grow Rich. That's a classic What's so funny about Think and Grow Rich? Maybe I shouldn't say funny, haha. -ha. It's not funny, haha. -ha. It's just interestingly weird. Is that it's the same premise of the secret. It's kind of like the thing about the, you know, the whole thing, the secret, the movie, the secret, and, you know, ask the, the universe is there for you and all that kind of stuff. But it's like, that's, it's, it's the same thing. When you read that particular book, you're going to get some of the same knowledge from that. The powerful things that have helped me within my marketing, they're almost inexplainable. I can tell you the tactics and the strategies that I've used, but the books that I've just shown you are the philosophy. It's the religion behind it all that makes it make sense. When I give people strategy, yeah, Anthony says he follows him. Shell says she follows him over on um, YouTube. The things that make it all of these things that I'm sharing with you right now, they're personal to me. They are, it's kind of like, how do I explain this? These books and these, these things that I've, that I've read and these things that I do on a daily basis that define, that have defined why my business is growing the way that it is. It's hard to explain to someone that is not actively involved. I say so many times, you've got to grind and don't quit. You guys hear me say that, you see it all the time, you see it pretty much every day when you tune into this show. It's the last thing you see before you see this face, grind and don't quit. It is, with the knowledge that I have, it means nothing without the philosophy that I have to acquire that knowledge. And so what I'm trying to do at this point, and there are some things that I'm gonna go into, especially in my private group, um, voice over fast track that'll go deeper into a lot of these different philosophies. It's it's the why behind the what and the how. It's it's the why things work. I know what works. 
and I know uh, uh, how it works, but why it works is the real important thing. There's a video. Oh gosh, I cannot remember this guy's name. Oh, Simon Sinek. Yeah. Uh, the, the power of why, I believe. You know what? Let's just go to YouTube. I'm going to pull this up. It, it was one of the things that years ago sp that sparked some things for me on a journey. And I'm trying to share these little intricacies with you because they've, they've been so vitally important to me. And so this is why I'm trying to, as best I can, share this, even though it seems kind of tough for me to do. But that why that's behind everything is so important. All right, so let's go over, let's go over to YouTube. Uh, once again, all of these books, you can get them right on my website or you can go to Amazon. Yes, I have an Amazon store. If you purchase it for me, I'll get a couple of cents and thank you for that. But obviously you can look these books up on your own. I just have kind of made them readily available right on the website and you can click the link or whatever on YouTube or on Facebook and it'll take you right to this page. Um, all right, so let's go, let's go to YouTube. And I'm just gonna go to this video. And it was one of the most powerful marketing videos that I've seen. Simon Sinek, yeah, there it is. Simon Sinek TED Talk. And this is it, right here. It's a seven-year-old video, Start With Why, How Great Leaders Inspire Action. Watch that 20 minute, 18 minute and two seconds. Watch that video and some things may start clicking. What I, let me go back to my full screen here, but take note of that, that video and how to find that on YouTube. When you start on this path of discovery, things in your mind are going to start to open. And as you start looking for these things that I've basically shown you that took me years to discover each and every one, I'm trying to shorten your path uh, to this. Maybe that may work, maybe it won't. Maybe it's just gonna take a long time, I don't know. It took me a while. But I'm trying to, in everything that I do, give you what I have that is maybe an explanation to why I've gotten to where I've gotten and why I'm going where I'm going. Watch that video from Simon Sinek. It's going to spark something in your mind that's going to lead you to something else. It may lead you in a different direction and a different path than it did for me. My path helped me to get where I am. You do, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to follow my same path. It just does not mean that. We all have a journey that we're on to get to where we want to be. I've discovered a lot about my purpose. I've discovered a lot about what it is that I'm meant to do. And I think these things that I do every day, <clears throat> thank you, Carlos, definitely. I'm looking at Carlos's comment over on Instagram. I really, um, I really appreciate your insights and honesty. Not a problem at all. That's what this is all about. This is what you guys see me doing here every day, you know, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, is just who I am. I, and I think all of that just, comes across um, one of the things that I've learned on this journey um, that I think so many people miss is that all you can be is you you trying to be something that you're not or trying to be someone else I'm telling you people everyone has a BS detector and People know when you're being honest, people know there's just something intuitive about us all that we can, we've got that BS detector. So me doing what I do every day is so simple because all I have to do is be me. And so many times I think that people think they're not good enough. You know, and there was one thing I learned a lot from Mind Valley, that book that I was telling you about from um, Visham, um, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind. I um, actually joined his website and went through some of the trainings that he's had. It was outstanding. Um, one of the really, really good videos that was there, one of the good trainings that was at Mind Valley. You can check it out. It's mindvalley.com. I don't get anything for that, uh, but check it out. Was a woman, and I can't remember her name, 
And she was talking about how people just genuinely don't feel that they're good enough or even that they're worthy. And some of that hit me. And in the journey that I'm on, when I discover the thing that, when I discover, when I discover things that hit me on a personal or spiritual, emotional level, I've learned to pay attention to that. I know what my flaws are. I know what they are. But there's one thing that I learned from Gary Vaynerchuk, whom I'm hoping if you guys are not following that you will, is that don't put too much effort and thought into your flaws. Double down on your strengths. So many of you as voiceover artists are concerned that you don't sound as good as another voiceover artist or that you're not this or you're not that. Once you let all of that go and just be you and understand that you are good enough, you are, and the reason that you're good enough is because all you have to do is you. All you have to do is you. You don't have to worry about doing me or doing any other voiceover artist or trying to sound like them or anything else. Your talents are within you and you have to understand and learn how to bring those out. It's a, it is a spiritual experience when you discover the honesty of who you are and don't give a crap what anyone else thinks about you. Do you know the flack? I, I'll say this for a minute before I go off air. Do you know the flack I've had to take over the past six months, actually over the past year, since I've opted to enter this space? Do, do, do you know the flack that, I, that I've had to take? Some of you may have seen comments in groups and things about me or whatever, I don't see because I'm not in these groups. I don't follow anyone else in regards to voiceover. I think that's a hindrance to me. Um, I don't want to be contaminated by old ways of thinking. I'm forward looking. My processes, my thought processes, my strategies and my tactics are all 2020 and beyond. That's how I see it. And that's how I look. And so I don't listen to outside stuff. It's like, the inspiration that I get comes from the marketing books that I read, the meditation that I do every day, and getting a firm understanding of exactly who Earl Hall is. Your path to success is understanding exactly who you are and knowing that you've got the ability to do whatever it is that you want. I say that with all honesty and with all sincerity. Once you crack the code of you, it's not cracking the code of voiceover. It's not cracking the code even of marketing. Before all of that happens, cracking the code of you will change your life. It will change your life. Um, Must Read One says, Earl, good foundation insights, additional suggestions, strength finders. See YouTube, Marcus Buckingham. Uh, great stuff as well. Dovetails into your message. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, Gatia interviewed Steve via uh, three weeks ago, and he said he holds back people from being what they should be is simply fear of not being good enough. Yeah, it definitely is. It's I had to get over the fear. It's, you know, I was called the new kid on the block, you know, the new guy, the new voiceover coach on the block and all of that stuff yesterday. You know, I, I don't know what handicapped parking says I ate you trash yesterday I don't know is that a troll I have no idea what that means but anyway when you crack the code of you and you start understanding who you are and it's it may take a minute it may take a while but no one can beat you being you no one can beat you being you so that's the thing you have to be is just you. You crack that and block out everything else and stop worrying about what other people literally think about you or say about you, but know that you're on a path that you want to follow. You do that. And that will be a foundation of your success. Understanding exactly who you are. All right, guys, as I close out, if there are any other questions on YouTube, Periscope, sorry I didn't get around to Facebook, but oh, okay, I'll do this while I'm looking at this. I'll go over to Facebook and see if there's any comments that are there that I need to acknowledge and also acknowledge the folks that came in today um, and watched over on Earl Hall Studio Facebook page and Steps to Voice Over Success 
Facebook page. And so we will see what's going on there as I close out. Um, Carlos Flood, you're giving a life lesson that apply to VO in all parts of life. Thanks so much, Carlos. Um, Carlos also says more over on Instagram, mornings with you have made a change in my life perspective, perfectly fits my current path in life. So glad to hear that, Carlos, but it's, it's all about you. It's not anything that I do, it's you doing the work. It's you executing is, is really it. There's so many times we look to get knowledge, but no one seems, not many people that is, actually execute on the knowledge that they get. Um, Donna, what's up? Um, and I'm, she says, and I'm really up for quitting right now since the cupboards are almost bare. I don't know what that means, Donna. Uh, but anyway, Sandy says, hi. Um, Sandy also says, getting my daily dose of Earl. Okay, all right. And let's go over to Earl Hall Studio, see what comments have come in there before we close out. And I will be closing out. Um, so if you've got a question or a comment, go ahead and make it now. Uh, we've got Adrian Graham um, from North Carolina. Thanks so much saying keep up the good work earl i appreciate that adrian thank you so much all right so i'm closing out of facebook that's gone and closing out of this page of facebook that's gone so now all comments i will see will be coming in from youtube and uh instagram and periscope twitter all right uh let's see so a couple of comments just came in here all right, um, Katia, great talk. Thanks, by all. Um, must read one, says Earl. What's your preference for contact manager tool? Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of Mailshake right now um, for a couple of different reasons, and it's too long to go into. I have also used, um, now I can't think of the stupid name. Here it is, Nimble. It's called Nimble. N-I-M-B-L-E is what it's called, Nimble. Very good contact management system um, that's there. Nimble.com, you can find out more about that. Um, Mr. D says, OMG, preach bro. Yes, be you. Makes so much sense. Um, okay, I think I just answered that question about the management tool. Uh, okay, lastly, over on Instagram, Liston Pratt says, what's Gary Vaynerchuk's Instagram handle? Um, just go to the search feed. You know what? Heck, let's do it, right? Why not just go to Instagram? I'll go to Instagram for you here, and I will see. Instagram. I will see what his handle is. I think it's Gary V, at Gary V. The V is V-E-E. -E, I believe is his handle. And, but I will look that up for you right now. Yep, it is Gary V. G-A-R-Y-V-E-E -E is Gary V's handle over on Instagram. So I would definitely go ahead and check him out. That being said. All right, guys. Once again, we've come to the end of today. Uh, it is Thursday. You know, tomorrow is Friday. I will be back here again tomorrow, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, if you have not registered or signed up to the free site at stepsofvoiceoversuccess.com. Please go ahead and do that. Um, the links to the books that are that I've talked about today are right in the um, the description on Facebook as well as on YouTube. You can get that there if you want to check out any of those books. Get them in your hands, whether you purchase them from my site or not. Just get them in your hands so that you can start getting on the path is pretty much all I can say about that. There has to be a start, you know. My goal for all of this is not to have you locked into me every day. There ought to come a time where you don't need to watch me anymore. That's just being honest. There should come a time where you just don't need me because you've got it, because you're doing it, and because you're executing. That's the goal. And I kind of follow Gary Vee's mentality with that. The goal is not to keep you locked in every day. The goal is to give you what you need to have you go do. Go do. Maybe that's the thing for today. That's the secret sauce. Go do. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the show today. I will be back here for you tomorrow, 
10 a.m. Central Standard Time, please give this video a thumbs up on YouTube. I would definitely appreciate your thumbs up over there um, and share around. Um, if you want on social media, share this. You know, if you think it's valuable for you, I would appreciate a share. All right, guys, you take it easy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You have a great Thursday. God bless. Central Standard Time. Um, if